employee turnover is a very costly problem and one that the accounting department is looking to overcome by offering flexible schedules to our employees. Today I will discuss the potential impacts of offering flexible schedules through appealing to the modern workforce, improving employee job satisfaction, and increasing production and profitability. The average cost to replace an employee is close to $14,000, and the average cost for the financial industry is over $15,000. To replace a highly skilled or highly knowledgeable employee, that total cost can be even greater. Over the last three years, the accounting department has seen a 10% increase in employee turnover compared to the previous five years. Exit interviews indicated that 70% of these employees were either dissatisfied with their schedule or required, desired more flexibility in their schedule. So the accounting department is looking at offering two flexible schedule opportunities to our employees. The first option is the variable hour approach. Under this arrangement, an employee would still work 40 hours a week, but they decide how many hours per day they work and how many hours per week they work to get to this total. The second option is to allow employees to work remotely from home for a portion of the work week. Um, this would be made possible by allowing employees to access their virtual desktops from their home computers, and also by attending staff meetings via Skype. With both of these arrangements, we require a 65% uh, attendance rate in the office during core business hours to make sure that we maintain a high level of customer, uh, customer service. By offering flexible schedules to our employees, we are able to meet the expectations of the modern workforce. Today, women make up 50% of the workforce, and half of the graduating accounting students are also women. In a recent survey, women indicated that they prioritize flexibility over high rates of pay or even advancement opportunities. But flexible schedules aren't just appealing to women. As women have taken on a bigger part of the workforce, it's also increased the number of dual income households. Today, 70% of children in the United States live in dual income households. So with both mothers and fathers working, flexible schedules are appealing to both men and women mutually. The other segment of the workforce that's interested in flexibility is the emerging millennial generation. Millennials also tend to value flexibility in manager support over high compensation or quick advancement. A 2010 Texas A&M study surveyed graduating accounting students to find out their expectations of future employment. This study found that these students not only desired to have flexible schedules, but actually expected them to be available with their future employers. Flexible schedules can help us appeal to prospective employees, but they can also increase the job satisfaction of our current employees. When employees work in a rigid work schedule, they sometimes tend to feel that they spend too many hours at work and don't have enough time to deal with issues in their personal lives. When this happens, it can create a, a, a situation called work-life conflict. Now, when, experience, when employees experience work-life conflict, some things, bad things start to happen. Absenteeism tends to go up, production tends to go down, and there's higher possibility of separation from the company. But if we offer flexible schedules to our employees, we can give them more control in both their personal lives and their professional lives. They would then have access to hours that we previously unavailable, where they could uh, schedule appointments or attend to personal matters without having to take personal time or have unplanned absences. And this would promote work-life balance, which leads to more satisfaction in both their personal and professional lives. Erica Rosquette of the Independent Savings Plan Company found that work-life balance has the opposite impact of work-life con work conflict. When, they, when her company implemented flexible schedules, the number of sick days that employees took went down significantly and employee morale went up. Flexible schedules have a lot of benefits for employees, but they can also have significant benefits for the company. Companies that offer flexible schedules tend to see a boost in production. The employees at Tower Paddle Boards now only work five hour work days. And according to CEO Stephen Airstall, these employees are energized by that environment. And they are more innovative and find ways to get just as much, if not more done in a five hour work day than they did when they were working eight hours. Financial company State Street Corp also notes positive results. Their employees um, tend to be more productive and more energized. Cases of absenteeism are, are on decline, and employees are also a lot more creative in problem-solving situations. Companies that offer flexible schedules can also see an increase in profitability. When absenteeism goes down, we eliminate some of the costs that we incur with a loss of production. We can also positively affect the bottom line by reducing employee turnover, and that would help to eliminate some of the costs associated with recruiting and training new employees. 
Now, research does show that when flexible schedules are implemented, the payroll costs do tend to go up. However, almost all firms see an increase in revenue that outweighs this, this additional cost. Some companies even saw significant increases in revenue. CPA Erica O'Malley of Grant Thornton tripled her business over a five-year period while working under a flexible schedule, and Tower Paddle Boards increased their annual sales from $260,000 in 2011 to $7.2 million in 2016. By offering flexible schedules to the accounting department, we can attract prospective employees, increase employee job satisfaction, and positively impact profitability and production for the firm. In order to best position ourselves with the modern workforce, I recommend that over the next three months, we develop a pilot program to op and offer flexible schedules to our employees through the end of the year. Specifically, I recommend that we survey employees to find out their preferences and expectations of this program. Then I will work with the IT department to determine exactly what security requirements are necessary for employees to access virtual desktops at home. Then I will work with the HR director to develop the policies that we will communicate to employees with the pilot program. Once the program has been developed, we'll offer flexible schedules through the end of the year, and then the payroll department will compile and analyze data related to attendance and employee turnover. At that point, we can decide whether to implement a permanent program and if any changes need to be made. At this time, I'd like to address any questions or concerns that you have about the program. If there are no questions, I thank you for your time today and I look forward to working with you closely on developing this project to re-energizing the accounting department, reducing employee turnover, and sharing those benefits with the company as a whole. Thank you.